is how do we relink files that are missing? Okay, so we intentionally move the folder of all these files that are in your media uh, pool, and DaVinci thinks they're missing. They're not missing, they're just in a different location. This is quite common when you're editing, when you move from one computer to the next, bringing your video files in your editing software will simply get confused and ask you, hey, they used to be in this location, where are they now? All right, so how do we bring them back, okay? So whenever you see them red like this, they're not really missing or offline. Most of the time, they're just in a different location. So all you have to do is select all the files that you have in your media pool. If they're in different bins, then you have to go to those bins, of course. And then you simply right click and then relink selected clips. Okay? So relink selected clips. Once you click that, then it will ask you where are these specifically. In DaVinci, one of its weaknesses is that the folders that you see here as part of your location are the one that will be shown whenever you need to access all folders. The problem is you cannot add a folder when you're about to select a folder. Okay, see, I can't right click here. And this is a glaring issue that I have with DaVinci. Each time I download it, I put in that little suggestion box that they have. I always put that in there, okay? Because there's two ways to do this. You can actually access all the drive in your computer. And you're going to say, man, I'm so smart. I know they're in the computer. What is the disadvantage? That could take 10 hours depending on how big your system is. That means you're telling DaVinci, hey, go blind. Go and search the entire thing. Or you can go specific. So I know for a fact where they are. They're on the desktop. They're in my folder. Okay? So if you know specifically where they are, it makes for relinking much faster because it doesn't have to search anywhere else but the location. I can go even deeper than that. I can open up my folder and actually point to where that folder, where the Audi R8 footage are. Okay? But going back to adding your location that it's not here. So let's say as part of your uh, location, uh, your new location is not here. Before you can even right click here and relink, make sure you add that new location first. Otherwise, you can't add it when you're actually relinking. All right? And I think that's one of, uh, one of the flaws of DaVinci is uh, not being able to just use uh, uh, location. Okay? So relink selected files. Desktop, that's where I have them. And simply click OK. And what we'll do, it's going to find them and then relink them. That's all. Okay? You might have to do this each time if you're editing on different computers every time you edit. Okay? And it's quite common. So that's how you, I'm going to save this one, relink files. Next, how do we optimize our media? What is media optimization? All right? So, there, is, uh, there are files that are not friendly to your computers. One of them are simple Canon files like H.264 movie files. How many of you uh, shot movies using DSLR like Canons? All right, they produce not .mov, they're, uh, they're .mov, but they're H.264. Okay? It's a codec that's not really quite friendly with computers. You need hardware. Uh, activity for it okay so in order for your computer to not use extra power just to play and process those you would want to optimize them okay to optimize your footage so that they play friendly with DaVinci you simply right click okay and then uh, generate optimized media and we're doing all this in the media tab okay so generate optimized media. So when I click this, depending on where your folders are set, where this is dumped, it's actually generating new files. So the advantage is you get to what? You get to play them a lot easier. Okay? They're play pretty much in real time. But the downside is 
it makes more file space. It creates more uh, files with each of your hard drive. Okay, but that's I think that is a uh, it's a good compromise. Okay, and I'm just basically going to wait for this and keep talking for about a minute. <laughs> Uh, it's not. It's something I want to do on this computer because uh, we don't have the most powerful computers here. Okay, so that's quite a given that you want to optimize your media. Um, uh, uh, local to let's say to the codec that DaVinci is using. Okay, so uh, and um, it's not creating um, proxies in a way. Okay, well it is creating proxy, but. Uh, uh, we still also have to downgrade our playback if optimizing our footage is not enough. So when you create proxy, you basically create new files that are lower resolution. Okay, mm -hmm. so while you're editing, yeah, it's kind of like offline edit. Do you do that every time or just when you know the... Well, yeah, it, it, when your computer is not able to do it. Okay, example would be Red Rocket. I mean Red Rocket. Uh, Red camera. Are you familiar with that? Red camera? All right, so it's, they produce massive files. It's not something you simply go to Premiere and then start editing. You won't be able to play them. They're so big. All right, so you need the hardware such as the Red Rocket. I don't know how much it is. Last time I checked, it's like three grand. You put that in your computer and you can do a real time playback with your red files. If you're on a Mac, good luck. Can't do it. We're talking PC here where you could actually put a, a card inside. Let's say you don't have that. What do you do? You have to do this, what I just did. Create optimized media. What it will do, it will create a low resolution version of those big files and use them while you're editing. But when you're done editing, when you're ready to export, it uses the high resolution files to export. Okay? So, does that make sense why we do this? Yeah. All right. Okay, so that, uh, mine are already optimized. And let's do another thing uh, to, uh, to accelerate our, or to better our performance while editing. Okay? So, if I go here on the Vinci Results menu, there's a playback portion, right? Before you continue. Yeah. So that means it's kind of like between Word and like 720 resolution, like HD, whatever, and then export like 4K into. Yeah, it won't. It won't use. Well, it will use them if you allow it, but normally that's done where that's only while you're editing, so your your timeline will play in real time. But when you export, it switches to the big resolution one. But it doesn't mean that you can only export to the big one because your export has options. You could actually export exactly like your proxy. You know, so especially for previewing, you don't want to preview and give the original big resolution to someone just to preview it, then they have access to the big one. Okay, it's kind of like you don't give away your raw; you give them JPEGs. Okay. So right here under playback, I'm going to click on proxy mode. Okay, proxy again is um, the word that you use as a substitute. You know, kind of like you're getting married, your best man um, ate Taco Bell before the wedding. Guess what? You're going to need a proxy. Okay, proxy is the replacement. Okay, not as good as the original, but good enough, right? So right here under playback, there's proxy mode. It says off. So we're not even using them, okay? I mean, we're not using proxies. But the optimized media is already checked. It says use optimized media if, if available. You want this to be checked. And by default, it is. You can also delete the optimized media when you're done editing so it cleans up your hard drive. It eliminates those files that were created um, extra. So proxy mode, it's set to off. So let's say you, you're already using optimized media and your playback is still pretty bad. You can play it at half resolution. When you play it half resolution, that's exactly what it means. It cuts it in half. Let's say it's still bad. You can still go quarter resolution. So quarter resolution, 
Um, yeah. Drive train, which is and these are super. These are not even full HD video, so I mean, you will barely see uh, a lot of degradation on these files because it's, you know, they're they're small to begin with. Okay, but you'll see it when you zoom in on video footage like this, right? And I pick a very uh, flattering image of Paul right here. He's just like he looks like a drunkard on that. Anyway, sorry, Paul. Let me move you. There you go. Um, it looks better. All right. So we'll play back at quarter resolution. So that's another thing that you can do regarding how to fix your uh, playback.